Hello students, we are going to be working on a hexaflexagon next for our very last project. But before we start into the project, you guys need to make sure that you understand the elements and principles of design. And we have gone over all of these over the entire trimester, um, but we're just going to do a big huge review on them all. So uh, your assignment to practice each of these, which is going to take a few days, is uh, give an example of each element design and each principle of design. But we're just going to focus on the elements of design in this. And um, if you don't have your book for whatever reason, you can take a piece of paper and fold it into eight squares. And in one of the squares, you're going to write elements of design. And then um, all the others, you'll put whatever element that there is. So one of the elements of design um, is texture. So I'm going to write texture in this box over here. And I'm going to create a little tiny mini piece of artwork that describes texture. So we talked a lot about texture with the zentangles. So remember, texture is how something would feel if you were to touch it. So um, how am I going to do this? I'm not sure. I'm going to use a pen. For this but you guys are welcome to use colored pencils markers uh, whatever material that you have so um, maybe I can create this kind of uh, kind of looks like scales I guess of a of an animal I can create a texture like that on here um, maybe I can create like this kind of netted texture on the side Maybe you can turn this into a zentangle if you wanted to. So there's a texture. Um, oh, brainstorming here. Maybe I can create something that looks like it's cracking. That would count as a texture. And anyways, I would just continue to work on this until it's finished. Okay, another one is color. So whatever you do to it, you have to add some sort of color to it um, and create a piece with color. Another one is form. So remember, form is how you make something three-dimensional. So for example, um, a cube has form. And if I do shape, Shape is something that is flat. So a square is a shape. Let's see. Or there's organic shapes. And there's also geometric shapes. Put a geometric shape in back here. Let's see, um, there's also line. So remember way back at the beginning of the trimester, we talked about line variety. So you can have dashed lines. You can have uh, curvy lines or straight lines. You can have thick lines, thin lines, jagged lines, etc. So how can I create a little art piece that shows line. There is also value as an element of art. So remember, value is how light or dark something is. We talked about value with the grid assignment. Um, so how can I create an image that has dark values, gray values, and light values. I can use a pencil for this, I can use a pen. Um, oh, let's see, I'm trying to decide what to do with this. Maybe I'll draw a bird that has different values. Not sure where this bird is going right now. have a really dark stick. So I have some dark black values. Um, 
maybe I can have some gray values in the background, etc. I'll probably finish these later here and um, have another video to show what they look like when they're in the complete form. Okay, and last one is space. So we talked a lot about space with the ink project. Um, so remember that atmospheric perspective that I can have a dark foreground, light background. Um, size changes, things get smaller with distance. Overlapping creates space. And so, anyways, um, maybe I can create space. I'll create a tree right here. Hi, can we barge in on you? Uh, sure. Got to show you something. 